Hey folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with Creo and how to build automatic assembly. I will start with short presentation. Let's jump to the first slide. I would like to show you how you can prepare your assembly in the Creo parametric and then how you can build it automatically not manually assembly parts and as and connect all this all together but how to use it automatically about us i think that you know me really well my name is vladimir and i am the cad specialist and on my web page 4ksi.com you can find a lot of information about the creo modeling creo configuration animation and so on you need to think about that if you need to build the assembly, you need to many times prepare the 3D models and sub-assemblies and then put it all together in the one huge assembly. If you imagine that we would like to work on the assembly as the motorbike, for example, you have a source information with your, in your ERP system, for example, SAP. So you can prepare the order directly in SAP from SAP you can export a text file and then you can prepare your custom application and this application will work and generate huge map key then simply to load this config profile including one huge map key into PTC Creo parametric and then run map key and the system will create final product for you what is necessary to prepare First of all, it's necessary to prepare the order list from the ERP system. Then you have to work on the Creo 3D data and you can load the data from hard drive or from the PDM system, for example, Wenchio. But first of all, you need some requirements. The logic, what I have been working with my colleague, and we have been prepared the assembly where is the base about the coordinate system. So we have prepared the skeleton models with coordinate system. Then we have specified the clear name, naming corresponding to ERP data, Creo component interface. So every assembly, subassemblies, components include the component interface, easy to connect necessary information from one assembly to another. So please visit my YouTube channel and you can find more about the component interface. Then you have to specify the correct orientation of the model and correct placement. Behind this automatization is some opportunities. What does it mean? We are focusing on the data quality. So one more time, the models need to include the correct bonding coordinate system and position based on the component interface. And then you need to have your source file. For example, bill of material from ERP. What is great on this small utility that you can run it on the separate PCs. So you can build not on the one really huge assembly, but a couple of them. Or you can use the same computer because the system works on the background. And what is great? You can re really easy load the config profile and the speed is really very really fast what is behind save time more money utility workflow how it works one more time so over here is the explanation that you need to build material from the erp system for example then utility take care about the filtering numbers generating coordinate system filtering assemblies generating names and set up necessary config profile and at the end generating machine size if necessary what is behind in creo in the creo the system can simplify models based on the configuration prepared downloads model from hard drive or from the pdm system open assembly rename assembly replace model if necessary suppress model or add missing coordinate system yes it's a utility and it's really great if you will, after combining all this assembly, take care about the visual control. We have 
roughly measure time at the background, we can say you can be faster more than 25%. And what about additional information? We have to think about that all information which came from the SAP system, for example, you need to put into CREO. So human error is responsible for more than 80% of failures and defects. What does it mean? If you have automatism, you can read information automatically, collect all information in CREO, you can take care about the automatism and reading information. If you read the data, for example, from the windshield, you can build a really, really huge assemblies because you do not have uh, the data only on your local hard drive, but you have somewhere on the server side. And then you can really easy use it in CREO. Over here, I would like to show you how it works. Last but not least is the my contact. So please, one more time, visit my webpage for ksi.com and find more about the CREO modeling, animation, configuration, rendering, and so on. So thank you for your time for the presentation. And right now you have a really good overview how to utility works, but I think that will be great if you will see the real example. On my desktop, I have prepared the uh, necessary files. For example, from the SAP, I have got all necessary information. For example, the SAP numbers or the clusters and some description and so on. I need to read this text file definite from ERP system directly by utility. And you can see that this utility is really simple. You can browse necessary file yeah. and if necessary you can set your custom order number so for example KTM 099 okay so I will run the utility and you can see right now that system is loading necessary data from the text file transform necessary information and read and define the coordinate systems and the names of the assemblies and sub-assemblies. You can see that right now the system finished the generation of necessary file and if I will open it, you can see that the system generate the map key for me, KTM, and these include a lot of information. It's a really, really one huge map key. Yep. So what is necessary to do right now? Only load these directly in the CREO. So I will import it from the desktop and I don't need to save this configuration file because it's only a temporary file. And right now you can see in real time, if, if I will put the KTM, the system will load necessary assembly. After a while, system need to found necessary components to redefine the change name and then the system will load information from the map key map key was generated from the erp system yeah so all source information so and right now you can see that system works at the background and all files 3d parts assemblies and components are changed based on the order list. Over here you can see that system change source files. Yeah. And based on the orders are changed to corresponding one. The components are placed by component interface and component interface is definite to right and correct orientation. Okay, you can see that 
system took only a couple of minutes, we can say, and after a while, the system generated a lot of information for me directly in Korea that KTM RC8 version KTM 099 is defined. And I can resume, and right now you can see that everything is correctly placed, rename it, and is based on the SAP information. And what I would like to say at the end, with Creo, you can build automatic assembly, you can specify automatic placement, orientation, you can reuse the component board interface, you can reuse your orientation of the model and coordinate systems and build a huge assembly really easy. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.